We continue to follow breaking news in Fredericktown where a battery recycling plant is burning, forcing some to evacuate and others to shelter in place. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Ann Allred. The fire started hours ago at Critical Mineral Recovery on Highway 00. 75 workers were inside at the time and everyone is out safely. We have team coverage tonight. Let's begin with Laura Barczewski. Yeah, so in the last 45 minutes, we've seen this thick plume of black smoke continue to billow up. Firefighters are on ladder trucks trying to put as much water on this plant as much as possible here at Interco Critical Mineral Recovery. The Madison County Sheriff tells me dispatch received the call for a fire here at the plant just after 1.30. It's unclear what caused it yet, but she says they have a good handle on the situation and believe they have it mostly contained. They did have residents close to the plant evacuate, and roads in the area are also closed. Law enforcement is directing people around. Highway 72 is shut down from the bypass to Lincoln Drive. We're doing our best to keep our distance and are in the staging area with first responders next to a Fredericktown staple restaurant, The Pig. From what we could see in the air of, with our drone, the southeast corner of the building has collapsed in and there is definitely serious damage. This is a fairly new facility where they recycle lithium ion batteries. An attorney representing the company says they're very volatile and subject to vulnerability in terms of being fire risks. Explosions can happen and it's like Likely some did. 75 employees were here at the time of this fire and they had an exit plan and it worked. No residents or employees have been reported injured. And I want to reiterate an important message I shared with you about an hour ago. For those of you who live north of this plant, like near Junction City, north of 72, all along Highway 00, the Fredericktown Fire Department wants you to stay inside, close all windows and doors, and turn off any window AC units until further notice. The city of Fredericktown right now itself is not currently affected. The sheriff says she doesn't want anyone to panic. And these evacuations and shelter in place notices are out of abundance of caution. It is a, a absolutely precaution. We do not know what is in the air. We did ask plant manager or operations managers to be con how can concerned we are. They weren't concerned, so we're just doing as as they uh, requested. If you need any help with sheltering, contact the Madison County Health Department. That number is 573-783-2747. Reporting live near Frederick Town, Laura Barczewski, five on your side. Robert Townsend caught up with a family who had to evacuate. And he's live at the First Assembly of God Church. Robert. Hey, Mike and Ann, I can tell you right now we're still trying to talk to emergency officials and find out exactly how many families and people were actually evacuated as a result of today's business fire here in Frederick Town. I can tell you this, Scott Bates, you and your family, you came here to your church. Tell us about it. Yeah, so I was on my way back home from Farmington when I got a phone call from a lady that goes to the church with us here. Uh, and so we gathered our family, uh, got the two remaining kids from school and came over here. I know thankfully physically you're okay, but emotionally, how's all this holding up? It was a little stressful not knowing uh, whether or not we'll be able to be at home tonight. Mm -hmm. I see your wife. Who's here? Your wife? And uh, so it's my wife and our, our youngest daughter, uh, my oldest son, Tristan, and and our middle son, Justice. 13-year-old Freedom. How are you holding up, Freedom? We're holding up good. We got our phones and our tablets, and we got some snacks, and of course we got each other. Yeah. Pretty comfortable being in your own church. <laughs> yeah, pretty comfortable. I you mean, know, Scott, thankfully nobody was hurt. How do you feel about that? Uh, I'm, I thank God that nobody was hurt. Uh, it's a big relief to know that everybody got out safely. Uh, that's a large building that employs a lot of people. So, Great. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Thanks for taking the time. Thank now, just you. minutes before we came on the air, I also talked to another pastor. He told me right now four seniors had to be evacuated from their home, and his church right now has opened its doors for those four people. We're going to find out more about that in the next half hour. Live in Fredericktown, I'm Robert Townsend. Five on your side. We'll continue to follow this breaking story on air and online at KSGA.com as it develops. You can also always get updates on the 5 Plus app.